Hello guys! Today we are in Puerto Galera where we met up with a friend Brian to go on one epic critter adventure. Wait until you see what we find. Thank you for joining the dive today. You are watching Critter Hunter. Morning guys or afternoon wherever you're at. It is, <laughs> I don't know, Sunday. All the days are the same. And it's another dive day, of course. I'm still in Puerto Galera. Been doing some cool dives. If you guys haven't seen the last couple episodes, or like four, definitely go watch that after this video. We're here with Scandi Divers. And today, we're gonna go I don't know where we're diving, but we have some friends joining us. We have a, a YouTuber joining us and then some subscribers joining. And I'm not sure where we're going, but I'm going to show them how muck diving is. Critter hunting. <laughs> so let me get down to the beach, to the dive center. I got to get ready. Then we'll chat. Brian. So, uh, dive today, huh? Dive today. Chris got a good spot ready? Yes. We'll go and see the uh, Fantasy Reef again. He said somebody saw the Rhinopia yesterday, so we're going to really? try to find okay. it. Well, yeah. Go to the different areas. Right, so okay. Same dive site. Yeah. And yeah, I think, I think we can we can start um, a bit further west. Yeah, because the current was pushing us that way. Yeah, yeah. But I don't care. There's so much critters. Yeah. And Judea's gonna join us today. Cool. Where's is, is my gear on the boat already? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, yesterday we dropped it at Monkey Beach. Right. Drifted from there all the way down to the floating platform. Oh wow! That was a drift. Yeah, floating platform. Yeah. Yeah. The bar. Yeah. yeah. What time? About 9.30 or so? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we just missed that then. Well, then, during the half moon, no current. Yeah, it's, Everywhere yeah, it's we went, it was just... Yeah, it's up to the, yeah. up to the uh, one week before the, the full moon, no yeah. current. And now, now, and yeah. now it's like, the full moon? Yeah. Well, it's, it's good at night. Off full moon. So, I need your... He wants your autograph. But full moon is good for night critters. We'll see later. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see around the Yeah, you're joint. Uh, is you're, it too deep? Huh? Is it deep? Only like 37. Meters, I'm not going. I'm just going to the You So, Judea is scared to do a back roll. And when we're in Dowell, the boat is a lot bigger at Pura Vida. And I, we all got in the water, and I was, I had the camera pointed up, waiting for Judea to get a cool shot of her jumping in the water. And then also somebody tapped me on my shoulder, and it was her. I was like, "How did you get in the water already? I'm waiting." And she's like, "Oh, I made them put the letter." So embarrassing. <laughs> the little princess has a, uh, has all the dive masters and guides and boat crew like. <laughs> uh, you're jumping off today. No, I'm just going to use the ladder, please. We're gonna throw you in. So Brian's got the uh, TG6 as well, and we're seeing uh, what what settings he likes. I don't want to make it too complicated. Just have him messing around the whole time, trying to find the right settings. Like me, it's, it's really annoying. So just gonna like, keep it on. Uh, that and focus on the lighting because I think the light is the key should be uh, you get any any great shots with good light even with the GoPro stop hiding let's see your wet suit <laughs> no please are you a pro now why is it backwards no it's not it's the stylist like just kidding you ready to go find some critters for me? Yeah. But we're going to dive with Margaret. Okay, yeah, you stay away from me. 
Stay away from you. <laughs> if I see an octopus or shrimpy, I'm not gonna show you. So try to eat it. Dive time. Another fantasy reef. I'm a newly hired uh, dive master. She works cheap. All you have to do is give her rice and sea urchins. She'll do anything for some rice. Let's go, Larry! Hey! Where's your other shoe? one. I'm a flipper. You look like a duck. Can I have those style? Where could I, Chris, where could I buy this style for me? Mew Mew. <laughs> Whatever that is. That's not a, that's not <laughs> a serious that question. <laughs> yeah. It says Mew. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like a cat. Is it Mew? Yeah. You have your wings. So, uh, no, oh, Larry the Boat Boy. Five minutes away, so you should put your uh, little duck feet on. But I'm going to use the ladder, please. I don't want to. You can jump in. No, you don't need the ladder. You can easily jump in without your gear. So on this dive, we're heading to La Laguna Point, which is just minutes from Scandi Divers. This dive is going to be a little bit different because I want to show Brian how a critter hunter goes diving. And the first thing I found was this tiny, tiny little flatworm on the side of a tunicate. <laughs> he didn't think it was too funny. He couldn't even see it. But the next critter we found was this crinoid shrimp. Now I think these are pretty fascinating because they always morph their color to match their surroundings and they blend in perfectly well. I've seen these guys in many, many different colors. And of course I gotta show Brian all the little nudies, but really in the end he was showing me some nudies as well that he found. And this is a Chromodora species, pretty common, but I like filming them because there's so many different Chromodoras. And this is a different type, and I'm not even sure the name of it, but it's definitely in our book because I've seen it a time or two in Darwin. But I wanted to show Brian how tiny Nudibrain can get. This one is maybe half a centimeter long. Not the tiniest we've seen, but just big enough to where he could film it. And he was as fascinated as I was. These guys are pretty cool to see. And here's another crinoid shrimp. And like I said, they morph to match their surroundings. And this one isn't just white like the feather sea star he lives on, but it had black stripes and it blends in perfectly. This guy has the ultimate camouflage, just like many critters in the ocean that can change colors to match their surroundings. This guy wasn't very easy to film though. That feather sea star was moving quite a bit, you know? They constantly move around trying to catch sediment out of the water to eat. And this guy just hangs on while I try to film. And like I said earlier, this is another Chromodorus species, and I wanted to get a little bit different of a shot, trying to get a close-up of his rhinophores. These guys are everywhere, and nudies are a favorite because they're just so easy to film. We ran into this giant hermit crab, and if you guys didn't know already, hermit crabs aren't born with shells like this. That shell is from a snail that was discarded. Maybe the snail died or whatever, 
But these hermit crabs, as they grow, they just keep inhabiting empty shells that they find laying around. Once they grow and get too big, they'll wander around in the ocean and search for a new shell. And once they find one that's a little bit bigger, they'll crawl out of their old shell and into the new one. It's pretty fascinating that these guys rely so heavily on empty snail shells. I've even seen them when threatened by birds or whatever, and the bird had the shell in their mouth. They'll abandon the shell and drop back down into the ocean. So I wanted to show Brian this popcorn shrimp. And I've been calling this coral an anemone because it looks exactly like an anemone. But it's actually not one. I've been mistaken this whole time. This is actually a mushroom coral. And I always wondered why they didn't have Nemo's or clownfish living in them. And I guess I've just always assumed they were anemones. Anyways, you can always find these little popcorn shrimp. And I always find them fascinating because the front part of their body is red and white. And the back is completely clear. I've sometimes mistaken it thinking they didn't have a back part of their body. They were just short and round. But as you can see here, he's got a completely transparent tail. So I had to put this clip in slow motion because these juvenile sweet lips move so fast trying to mimic a toxic sea slug that it's really hard to film. They're moving so fast you can barely see it. This is slowed down by 80% and you can see how much energy this little dude uses. Now these sweet lips are very fascinating because they are are one of the creatures in the ocean that completely transform their bodies and their color and everything from when they're juveniles to when they're adults. When they're adults, they lose all their spot, all their color and everything and turn into just kind of a dull color. But when they're babies, they're a photographer's favorite. These guys are pretty shy. Even though they're moving so fast trying to mimic a poisonous flatworm or a slug or something, they kind of like to shy away from the light. It's kind of hard. I don't think I've ever gotten their face to the camera. It's always kind of been like this, under some overhang or maybe a little cave or something. But either way, whenever I see them, I like to film them. I've even found these guys at about one centimeter long and they were still moving that way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one with another great dive here in Porta Galera with Scandi Divers. We're doing some shipwrecks in the next episode. So Philly, how was our uh, first dive together? Excellent. Uh, I, I just don't see how he spots these tiny, <laughs> tiny little nudie breaks down there and all the other tiny little things. Yeah. But it was fun, I had a good time. Uh, he did find a hermit crab. I've never filmed a hermit crab under the water so that was cool but yeah that was a good time very yeah. good time i checked your uh i checked your uh camera to see if you're doing it and it was awesome colors and stuff so i just i uh let you at it yeah 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 and there's like a little easter egg hunt yeah yeah so that's like a welcome to the day in the life of critter hunter because we're just don't need no big reefs or nothing. Just find stuff in the sand and everything. It turns out awesome. I, I follow Critter around like a little sheep. Where's he going now? Oh, where's yeah. he going? What does he see now? Yeah. <laughs> Pointed out some cool yeah. crinoid shrimp and uh, looties. You found some looties. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Good Enjoyed times. It. Good times. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to do it again. Down in Dowin. Yeah. 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 You, you got to get down to Dowin. We'll get down there. Yeah. We'll get down there. Then we'll have a... We'll have a good week or a month of critter finding. Yeah. That'll be awesome. So, all right. Thanks for joining me. Glad I got to see you in Porta Galera. Yeah.
Alright, so let's see how Judea liked it. Judea! How was your dive? It was really nice. I keep on like shooting all the fishes underwater because they're so mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you called me over for a little sea slug. <laughs> it's pretty nice though. Nice sea slug? Yeah. Okay. But I saw like the Reno de Bronx at the same, the same place. Yeah. But you're not listening to me. I give them back. I was like, who's making all that noise? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. See you tomorrow. We're gonna go do a bonfire dive. Try to find some plankton. It's not gonna be easy, but see you on the next one.